And joining us live now, CEO of Carnival San Francisco, Roberto Hernandez. And Roberto, let's talk more about the Cultural Arts Healing Center and the mission. You've got 90 units, affordable housing. How do people apply for that? Who's your target audience here? Who do you want to live there? Latinos that have been evicted from the Mission District uh, during this uh, dot, dot boom uh, that basically have been left homeless. And we also want to ensure that people aren't living in garages and aren't living in cars. Yeah, a noble cause. I know that that has been a cause near and dear to your heart uh, recently. And, and tell me what you're most excited about for this weekend personally. Personally, I'm, um, I'm so excited that after being sheltered in place, children, young people, adults and seniors will be able to get out and dance out on the street. This, the street becomes our stage and we're going to have so much fun uh, in the parade and as well as uh, on Harrison Street and 24th Street, we actually put up Papel Picado, which was a dream of mine that's finally come true to uh, brighten up the streets and give people a, a, an amazing, wonderful, fun-filled time this entire weekend. Roberto, do you feel like the, the time is right? The city really needs this, the people of the city, the mission. We need this kind of thing right now. Yeah, you know, it's time to heal, and we need to move forward. And part of moving forward is eating together, dancing together, and coexisting together. A lot of families that I know of are finally going to be able to come together because that's what the beauty of Carnival has always been. Whether you still live here or you've been gentrified or you moved out, the Carnival is what brings us annually all together. And I've been hearing so many families that have been telling me, oh, my cousin's coming, my grandmother's coming. Uh, back to the mission and we're going to be at Carnival and we look forward to to being united especially after two years of, of COVID. Yeah I know the theme for this year is Colores de Amor. Can you tell me a little bit more about that and the meaning behind that? Well right now as you all know you know where there's a war going on in, in the world. We just had an, uh, and, and I just uh, my heart goes out to the families in Texas you know we have too much violence going on and what right now what we need the only way that we can counter violence and also the hate that's going on in this country is by promoting amor promoting love and colores de amor is a way that brings us all together whether you're black you're purple you're gray you're brown you know whatever color you are bringing all of us together and in the spirit of love and being one with each other is important. But most important is that we got to love ourselves. And, and if we love ourselves and we can love everybody else. And that's what we're going to promote this weekend is fill people with love so they can go home with love. All right, Roberto, a noble message. Thank you so much for joining us. I look forward to seeing you this weekend. You can catch our live coverage of Carnival Parade Sunday at 10 a.m. on CBS News Bay Area.